we are going to now go, move on to our next step, which is adding a little bit of timing to this action. And again, I'm not I'm not expecting this to look fantastic, but it just gets a point across of how you work with um, between a character and a prop. I'm going to add a little bit of timing between my frames, so I can maybe shift plus. I'm going to move these down, or and add a little bit of timing there, and a little bit of timing there, and we'll just quickly between this and just to get a result I'll put a little bit of ease out at the beginning a little bit of ease in going into that bottom frame a little bit of ease out and a little bit of settle at the end Let's just see what we have there. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit stiff, but I can live with that. And I'm going to put this all on twos. We have a little, little action of our character reaching down and picking up the ball. Now we have to just get the ball actually working with the timing. So I'm gonna make sure that this one is on until that frame. So I'll just turn it on there. And now that, oh, let me just make sure, hit nine. And I want, I want it to be on there. And the frame where he starts to move up, I'm going to turn that one off, and this one on, as you can see what's happening there. What we have is one ball is on to the frame where he actually picks it up, and then we have a little switch. Now the one thing I don't, I may not like about this is this thumb, it, it sort of pops on top of the ball where I want it to be always on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, go to my node view and find it. It needs to be above this. So I can find that thumb. I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Control copy, control paste. And I'm going to just run it outside this group to the multi port. And just layer it on top of on top of the yarn. Now the other way to do this, if I if I wanted to try and do it a different way. I would turn this composite to pass through. And, and then I should be able to bring it forward by holding Alt and down arrow. So on whatever frame I need, it needs to be in front, which would be probably this one, Alt and the down arrow. I can move it uh, Alt and the down arrow. I want to make sure I do it in all those keyframes that I've made. And now it's got this seamless look that, whoop, one more, one more frame. That the character is reaching down and grabbing that ball and picking it up. And like I said, it, the ball is in his hand right from the beginning. So nothing is going to pop. If I just turn it on again, you'll see that in all these frames, it was always there, but we've just tricked the viewer by having more than one prop inside the scene. Okay, and that's my explanation on how to make a character work with a prop. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, and there'll be many more videos to come. Thank you very much.